in terms of what we bring to the table to offer the U.S. is that knowledge of the terrain in which we are operating. We are following the developing story where Venezuela has declared its right to neighboring Guyana. The communist government, backed by Russia, is planning an invasion of its neighbor. We think that Venezuelan President Maduro is taking a page from his ally Putin on how to invade a neighbor. However, Maduro and Putin have miscalculated this time. The U.S. is not far from Guyana, unlike Ukraine, and the Guyanese president has asked for help from his allies, the U.S., France, and the U.K. So the U.S. Southern Command announced the beginning of air exercises in Guyana's airspace today in conjunction with the Guyana Defense Force in order to strengthen regional cooperation. Hey guys, let's take a break with a word from the sponsor of the video, Noble Gold Investments. Dark clouds are gathering as markets shudder. Stocks are sinking, currencies stumbling. Fear and uncertainty reign. The Middle East, Ukraine, Taiwan, the debt, it's endless. Yet one asset stands firm, gold. In crisis after crisis, gold is there, in the background. Its enduring value guards against loss, like a missile shield against incoming. Shield your savings against looming threats, war, recession, contagion, and avoid the frenzied panic of the unprepared. Take control in the chaos. Fortune favors decisive action. Get hold of gold now before it's out of reach. Right now, Noble Gold Investments offers a free five ounces. America, the beautiful coin with every new individual retirement account. Claim your free coin today to secure your financial future. Open a Noble Gold Investments IRA and claim your free bullion coin today. Click the link in the description or call 877-646-5347. NobleGoldInvestments.com, the only gold company I trust. This exercise comes following Venezuela's claim to annex over 70% of Guyana territory and the mysterious crash of a Bell 412 transport helicopter with the Guyana Air Force yesterday in the disputed region. Maduro is under the impression that the U.S. is preoccupied in Israel, thinking he can get away with his stunt. However, he will be in for a surprise if he crosses the border. And Russian situation on the left bank of Kherson is deteriorating, especially after the Ukrainian bridgehead at Krinky. So Russia announced the evacuation of civilians in the territory of occupied Nova Kakovka in Kherson region. Those who want to be taken to a safe territory should register and gather near the hospital on December 13th, rightful head of the Kherson administration, Serhii Klan said, citing the Russians. Let's remember this is the way Russians started their retreat from the city of Kherson. A story about Russian patriotism. A Russian pop singer gave birth to a baby in Miami. But now, since she's a patriot, she could not do that anymore. So she went to give birth to Dubai. Nuff said. The SBU intercepted the telephone interview of Rashist, in which he talks about the atrocities of the Russians. The details are shocking. Наши башкирские пацаны напились, бабу поймали в городе, изнасиловали, убили и труп сожгли. Наши башкирские или наши аургазинские? Наши башкирские пацаны. А, это когда было? Ну, это было где-то дней пять назад. И все на все это глаза закрываются, да? Ну, конечно, это что? А они местную смысла нашли там? Да, хохлушку. И что, их там много было? President of Iran to Putin. International organizations that are supposed to protect human rights lost their effectiveness. Iran and Russia, two countries where human rights mean next to nothing. 
И еще вызывает более сожаление то, что международные организации, те организации, которые должны защищать права человека, они потеряли свою эффективность. И это происходит на глазах у всего мирового сообщества. The video is where Putin is lost because no one is shaking his hand. Russian authorities are recruiting migrants who are trying to get from Russia to Finland for the war against Ukraine, the BBC writes. Russian authorities have started detaining and recruiting foreigners with expired Russian visas for the war against Ukraine who are trying to get from Russia to Finland. Journalists notice that in mid-November, the police began to massively detain those who had violated migration laws. These detentions took place during the same period as the first two waves of border crossing closures in southeastern Finland. Thus, according to the statistics of the District Courts of Karelia, 236 decisions on violation of migration laws were made in the region in November. Almost all of them fell within the period from November 16th to the beginning of December. In the first two weeks of November, according to court statistics, there were no such cases. A similar situation is observed in Leningrad and Murmansk regions, which also border Finland. Human rights activists told the BBC about several cases of refugees from Iraq and Somalia being recruited for the war. According to them, the Russian authorities managed to recruit dozens of foreigners. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.